not doing that at all. Uh, someone says, well, in my previous church. Well, you know, I'll ring your previous church. I tell this story way back when I uh, moved to Victoria. I got introduced to AFL because I was a Queenslander and so I had to respect the culture of Victoria. And I did. I, I still have a little bit of a thing with rugby league because when Queensland was oh. New South Wales, that's worth celebrating. But, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, but other than that, other than that, come on, come on. Thus you nullify the word of God for the sake of your 
tradition. So every week in our newsletter, got your newsletters, guys? Got something worth reading. It's got lots of good stuff in there. By the way, we've got Wes Beavers coming, I see. And uh, man, he's a good friend of mine, Wes Beavers. Uh, he's an Australian, born in Northern, lived most of his life in the USA. He's in California. He's an author, a motivational speaker, a musician, and a pastor. This service is not to be missed. If any of you are into any kind of marketing, network marketing, or anything else, you'll need this guy. Don't miss this, bring a friend, the date is on there. That's not what we're talking about, it's still out there. Uh, we're talking about, about that strategy, which is in your newsletter. And if you go down to the, uh, the first I, intentionally relevant what? To our culture, let's not nullify the word of God for the sake of our tradition, Matthew 15, 16, today's culture, uh, language, message, and music for today's people. So that's something that we are on about. That's part of our, our culture here. Uh, we don't want tradition to get in the way of the, of the, of the cutting edge of, of the word of God. Uh, the way we do music is part of our culture. We're intentional about that. Proverbs 29, 18 again. Where there is no vision, the people perish. perish. Any organization will tell you, and this is particularly true of the local church, it's true in business, particularly true of the local church, there can only be one vision. It's not as if, oh, we can have uh, the overall vision for the main church, and then mops will have a different one. And then the youth will say, well, look, we're having a different vision. And the kids' department will say, we've got a different one, and all that. There's only one vision. As uh, Casey Treat once said, uh, where there is more, uh, let's go on to the next one, uh, where there is more than one vision, there is division. Division. 1 Corinthians 1.10 in the Good News, I appeal to all of you, my brothers, to agree in what you say, so that there may be no what? Division. Divisions among you. Be completely united with only one thought and one purpose, one vision. 1 Corinthians 1.10 in the Living Bible, let there be real harmony so that there won't be any splits in the church. So here we all are, folks, all of us. We come from many diverse backgrounds. Some of you came to a new locality. Some of you came to this church to begin a new chapter in your life. Some of you came here to make a new beginning with God. Whatever your reason was, here we all are. You came to Baldova's church with its own distinctive local church culture. Now, I want to quickly show you this before we uh, talk about making your connection here real. And I'd love you to make the connection real. Acts 2.44 says, time I got rid of that, isn't it? Yes. I'm bored. Thank you. I'll send that to the highest people later on. Acts 244. All the believers were what? Together. together. Now that doesn't mean to say they lived together. That one English word together, uh, since New Testament was written in Greek, is four Greek words translated one English word together. Epi, to, auto, kai, which literally means all going in the same direction. They had a togetherness of purpose. A togetherness of vision, that's what it's talking about. And, 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 and what's this? Acts 2.47, uh, next verse, three verses on. Praising God and having favor with all the people, the Lord added to their what? Number. That's the same four Greek words as together three <coughs> verses previously. Epitokai. The Lord added to their number. He added to their togetherness. Uh, and so, uh, here's what's going on. Everyone's going this way, and new people come in and they just keep going with them. So I said, whoa, 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 in my previous, oh, in my previous location, remember, we did the, no, no, just hop into the way we're going. We like the way you're going, we're going with you. Epi out of Kai, the Lord added to their number daily to their togetherness, those who have been saved. So here's the point. All the believers moving in the same direction, they're all on the same page, and in verse 47, as new people are added, uh, they join in with that togetherness. Everybody, no matter how long or short they have been part of this church in Acts chapter 2, all operated and worked and worshipped within the same framework according to the same vision. Are you with me? Yeah. We're talking about getting connected here this morning. So let's make our connection real.